Hello and welcome back to my craft room. This is going to be the second in my little mini series of UK based arts and crafts subscription box reviews. That's a long mouthful. I did, I did a similar thing last year just as we're coming up to that time of the year when we're starting to think about our Christmas wish lists and shopping lists and I always think that subscription boxes are just such a brilliant gift idea. I'm looking at UK based ones because I'm in the UK. Um, many of them do also post out all over the world. I did have five boxes I was looking at but actually just today it looks like there are going to be six because I found an email that unfortunately had ended up in my junk mail. <laughs> so I've got another one to add on. Um, I, I've, I've quickly got back to them and apologised and um, hopefully hopefully we'll still be able to sort it out in time. <laughs> I've got five or maybe six boxes um, to look at, all UK based, all arts and crafts focused, but all very different, different types of contents, different types of activities, uh, different approaches, different price points. So I think it'll be interesting to look at a really good mission. I think there'll be something for everyone. Um, so yesterday I did the Maker's Flock box. They also do a main Maker's box as well. I've got Scrawler box. I've got Craftiosity, I've got Stitch Kit, and maybe if they can get back to me and get a box to me on time after the email cock up, <laughs> I'll have another box from the Cozy Craft Club. Um, they all look br brilliant in all their different ways, um, and I think it'd be really, really um, interesting to have a good look inside them and try out the activities and see what we think. Today's a box this is this would be number six in that list is a double whammy because i've got two from the one company this is from a company called deborah beads they do a bead box and a kit box now i had a subscription to them oh i had to stop it a couple of years back reluctantly because i just could keep on collecting beads forever but i was running out of time and space you know it's like so I, I reluctantly had to stop it for a while but i got back in touch with debbie she's such a lovely lady they're based down in colchester and she sent me one of each of her boxes and i can remember i had both of these when i had my subscription and i could ne i never know which is which until you get inside so we'll we'll find out it's gonna be the same today i'm gonna quickly show you their website in a bit so you can have a look um but i think first of all let's waste no more time let's go straight into the boxes i'll take you to my desk lovely little card came in the package she put, she put these both of these together they came in a compostable um mailer the packaging and, and whatnot is really important to me that it's as eco-conscious as possible so um, and i think that's that's the case with a lot of a lot of my online friends out there um i think you feel the same way i do about it so i will be taking note as we go along of, of the packaging and what have you with with all of these boxes you want them to look lovely but you want them to be as eco-friendly as possible don't you they need to be practical they need to look nice and they need to be eco-friendly in, in my book i love this card thank you annie there's some um, there's their details if you'd like to have a look but i will of course be putting a link to the website anyway lovely writing she's such a lovely lady to deal with you can message her in there's a facebook group and you can message her on facebook and she gets back to you so quickly always so helpful the difference between the two boxes there's the kit box and the bead box they're 7.49 a month that's all 7.49 a month and that includes post and packing i can't believe it you know i, st I still can't um i don't think that's gone up much since i have my subscription actually um so the kit box is is um, a kit with instructions to make an actual project it will usually be like a necklace and a pair of earrings or a bracelet something like that and then the bead box is um a, cl a themed collection of beads and findings and things to to build your 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 stash your, your jewelry your jewelry making stash so and as i say you can't tell which is which from the outside and i had both going for a while so let's just go go in here my new sleeve is much better for the environment so please do your bit and recycle it once you're done oh, i definitely will that go I did keep all these little boxes. These have gradually been recycled. I've sent um, uh, little uh, fabric packs out in them and things. So which is this going to be? One of the amazing things about getting any any kind of subscription box is this moment of opening it. <laughs> Look at my gives people of excitement out. <laughs> this moment of seeing what's going to be inside. 
the card again because normally you would just get this in the post with the postage label on it. Debbie obviously put these together with the in the mailer. A piece of tissue. I keep all these pieces of tissue for my artwork. Now I think this must be the bead box, not the kit box, because there are no instructions. Unless she doesn't do printed instructions anymore. But, oh wow. <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, that is lovely. What lovely Oh, I'm going to make gorgeous things with, with these. What I'm going to do now is open the other box as well. We'll keep them separate. I just want to show the difference and make sure I know I've got the right one here. Yes, this is the kit box because I can see instructions. So you can see very much see the difference here. So this is a kit box where you've got all the things you need and full instructions. Um, so this is to make ooh, a bo boho anklet and earrings lovely this this lists everything you've got here and then step-by-step -step instructions to make the project and you learn so much as you go along with these you learn all the skills i'm just checking that i'm recording as i am <laughs> all the skills you need that you can then take on into future projects I love having a subscription box that teaches me new techniques and gets me trying things I wouldn't have tried otherwise, you know. And even though I've got a lot of beading stuff and jewellery making stuff already, but I, I loved I loved my bead box days. <laughs> yeah, so you can see the kind of the beautifully uh, photographed with detailed instructions. And if you've ever got any problem at all, you can um, message Debbie um, through Facebook or you can ask a question in the group oh I can't wait to have a go at that so I will be back next week to try to try that out let's have a look at the things and sometimes but not always not on this occasion sometimes the two boxes kind of have a similar theme so they kind of go together but I don't think so on this occasion these are gorgeous now where's my little bowl I would use to put my beads in but they're such lovely um, quality beads as well. You get semi-precious ones, glass ones. Oh, that colour is lush. I really hope my camera's going to show it. No, it's not showing you the beautiful colour. They're more um, turquoisey. They are the most luscious colour. I can't... What can I do to make that show better? Would it be better against white? That's kind of showing it more, but it's like they're lighter and more turquoisey coloured than that. They're absolutely beautiful and they're faceted so that they catch the light and twinkle. Oh, yeah, well, I've missed this. <laughs> and here we've got, so those must be, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, faceted teal glass beads. Yeah, teal describes their colour better than uh, better than they look on camera there. So it's like it, it, for a second there, it looked... You could see the colour and then the camera adjusts itself. There, look, there, that's a bit more like they really look. These must be glass drops. Beautiful blues and greens in there. They are lovely. Little glass kind of slightly irregularly shaped so that the, the hole is, that's why they're called drops, isn't it? Of course, the hole is near the top of the bead. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. I won't. There we go. So they'll hang really nicely. Oh, I can't wait to do this. Oh, I've missed doing. I've missed doing the jewelry making. And then there's a gold chain. May as well take everything out, eh? So this is just the chain. It won't have a link on it or anything, because of course you put you do all that yourself. It teaches you how to do that. You do, of course, need a little pair of jewelry pliers. You don't need much actually. Fairly, fairly basic. But um, let's see what else do they say you'll need to make this project. I've got a little set of pliers, like a flat-nosed wire cutters and and the pointy-nosed ones, um, all in a set, quite reasonable. Yeah, I don't think it's going to take anything more complicated than that. So that's the glass chain. It's a nice glass chain, gold chain. Quite a nice one, quite chunky, chunky links. But this is the three filigree charms. I love those. Okay, we've got the... Um, ear wires and jump rings in there, the um, beading wire and crimps, so can you see in there, 
they're still what look like two little gold beads they're actually crimps which you you use them to finish the end you'll see when I do the activity next week you'll see and then you squeeze them shut and they hold the wire firmly so that it's not going to go anywhere but what are these oh they're in between here look bronze seed beads they're not included in the list but these are bronze seed beads oh gorgeous I cannot wait to start that project really looking forward to that okay, so that's the kit box and this is the bead box now they also do a junior kit box and I tried that at least once did I try it twice and I did it with Macy with my, my step granddaughter Macy um, if you if you're a long time viewer you might remember that but they're lovely the um, I'll show you I'll show you a quick look when we when we look at the website in a sec um, they're just made up of things that are they've got they, they say for ages I think seven or eight and up so they're not they're not babyish they can make something that they'll actually be pleased with you know but they're not too fiddly either they should be able to do them with a little bit of supervision they should be able to do them by themselves and I just think that's such a lovely idea it's a lovely thing to do but I really enjoyed doing it with Maisie at the time at that time so um, now we don't we haven't got a list of what's in here so I can only guess what these are these look like bugle beads I've got to take them out I can't resist yeah, I could do with the list of what's in there because I'm, I'm not sure what all these are. I think these are called bugle beads. I'm just, I have to bite them to see what they're made of. Glass by the, by the feel of it. Really nice. I love this very sophisticated looking um, colourways. So you've got black and silver and clear glass. Very stylish. Very chic. And then these little faceted glass beads and this lovely kind of kind of a smoky charcoal colour really. Look how they twinkle. Really nice. We've got I'll sort these out in a minute. <laughs> We've got um some uh, kind of iridescent faceted glass beads. They're all glass, none of these are plastic, these are all glass I think by the look of it so pretty so pretty some little small uh, clear beads with that with that iridescent finish again I'll cut the wrong bit I've got to take them out you can't see them properly otherwise you don't want to lose any how pretty are they how pretty We've got some um, beading cord here. This is that kind of waxed cotton kind of cord. And that's probably two little crimps on the end for, again, for that finishing, finishing the ends. Um, we've got a pair of ear wires and a lobster clasp, a couple of jump rings and some head pins all in the silver oh it's gonna be so pretty I love these little matte they're like tiny seed beads in black but they're a matte finish which is really interesting they remind me of nigella seeds <laughs> or black onion seeds can you see them they are the blackest black really cool those don't lose them I'm just going to drop them all in there and sort them when I'm off camera. <laughs> These again, yep, yeah, glass, kind of marbled. They like tiny marbles, aren't they? Marbled black and clear. Beautiful. I can make something really lovely with this. Did I show these ones already? Faceted kind of jet black glass faceted beads. Another pair of ear wires and head pins with faceted drop beads. Um, so you see how much you get. Um, I need to take this one out. Oh, sorry about my neighbour's dog barking. It's not been so bad lately, actually. Oh, look at that. It's kind of got like a bronze finish at one end almost metallic sort of finish and then going up to black at this end sort of uh, ombre down it's really unusual the camera is struggling to show it but you can kind of see love that 
I think I'd probably find a way to hang it that way or other way up. There are these little um, drops. Just blinking dog. Yep, glass again. So those have got a hole, I suspect. Yeah, the hole runs across that way at the top. So I'd hang it, you know, with jump rings or whatever. We've got a beautiful pendant. I can at least make a couple of... Um, I can't concentrate with the dog, it's distracting me. I can at least make a couple of pieces of this, perhaps a bracelet and a necklace or something. Love that, it's very delicate. It looks bluish there, but it's it is it's grey. Yeah, it, it does look grey there, doesn't it? Like a warm grey. And um, we've got some beading wire and little wire crimps in there with it. See, everything you need, except your tools, your basic tools. Um, glass some um, glass beads here. I'm going to regret tipping all these out in a minute when I've got to tidy them up. <laughs> like silver, silver glass beads. They're like clear glass, but they're silvered on the inside. Really pretty, actually. Can't really quite see on the... Like I say, the camera doesn't really like shiny things very much, but yeah, they're very pretty. I think what I'll do is sort all this into my beading tray in a minute. That's probably the best thing. And I'm thinking this is probably going to be a chain. Yes, silver chain quite a nice long length of chain as well I've just tied it in a knot now well done and it just unraveled itself completely as if by magic so that's quite a nice long length it's about 50 centimeters long so because I do like a reasonable length of necklace so yeah but you can cut this into pieces as well and use it to make bracelets instead if, if you prefer so yeah oh so is that everything i think i've looked at everything can you see what i mean how much you get for that for that price including the postage i just think it's brilliant um what we do is i'm gonna um stop recording a second and spread all this out so you can see what i've got properly and then we'll have a quick look at the website and um, and then I'm done. I want to try and keep these these videos reasonably short. Um, and then when I come back next week to make things with all of these boxes, they'll be a little bit longer. Whew, you know, I said I was going to regret just chucking all them in that box. <laughs> Dude, that's just taken me a good ten minutes sorting through that lot again. But look, I just thought I'd lay them all out so you could see. Do I can bring this down a little bit. Is that going to help at all? A little bit, so you can see better what we've got in here I mean. so this one's the kit box with everything you need to make in this case a boho anklet and earrings but it's always a little set you know it might be a necklace and earrings it might be a necklace and bracelet pendant and earrings whatever so yeah everything you need all the all the jewelry findings even the wire crimps are there just make sure i don't lose them really good instructions and then this is the bead box which is more if you already know what you're doing with with them um, making beaded jewelry and you just want to build up your stash and get a little box of gorgeousness every month <laughs> um seven pound 49 including the postage i just yeah i don't think you beat that really um and like i say there is a junior bead box as well and i just before i finish up i want to quickly show you their website here we go um deborah beads i will leave a link to this and you can see there there's the junior bead box i don't know if there's any pictures of the insides of that they're doing a golden ticket thing now every month one lucky winner at random gets a golden ticket in their bead box giving them 10 percent off everything they order from us all month mm. bead boxes facebook group free uk shipping here's the thing about little beaders i don't think there's any pictures but i do remember that there was loads in it and Macy and I both thoroughly enjoyed that. Inside every bead box junior, you'll find a great selection of bright, fun, and not too fiddly beads and findings, as well as a project complete with written instructions. The bead box junior is a great way to get your kids expressing their creative side and getting the next generation of beaders to make something beautiful. Suitable for children aged eight and up. 
younger children can join in the fun with adult supervision. Yeah, I think probably at eight, I mean, it depends on the child, doesn't it? At eight, I probably would have been into doing this by myself. I was the sort of kid who spent <laughs> a lot of time doing things like this and I probably would have been fine on my own. But um, it depends on the child, doesn't it? Uh, and I think it's a lovely thing to do with them as well. There are loads and loads of other things, all lessons and drop drop-ins. Oh, this is going to... See, they're not that far away from me. So there are all sorts of other things here as well. Like I've just clicked on glass beads there and just there's a multitude. Seriously, look how many pages. I could sit and look through this for hours. In fact, I have done. There's also tools and supplies and all the basic findings and things. I don't know if she does post um, abroad or not. I mean, generally things like this, if you can find somewhere in your own country to... to um, to buy from it's better isn't it shipping information here we go but um it's always a question that gets asked so so this isn't for the subscription boxes this is for other things so standard delivery in the uk 2.99 um customers in europe usa can this is this is what i'll always get asked about regular shipping eight pounds that's not too bad actually um so I wonder if you, I would say if you wanted to order like a B box or a kit box and you wanted to order some little extras in with it as well, what I would do is message um, Debbie and, um, you know, use the contact form on here or, or, or Facebook and um, and ask her. Um, Airshore tracked package service, £12. So, yeah, I mean, if you were buying a couple of kit boxes and some extras as well, that postage wouldn't, wouldn't be bad at all. USA, Canada, Australia and New Zealand. Europe, let's see what it says, £6. So I think um, that's all I've got to say for now about uh, Deborah Beads. I'm having had a subscription from them before. Um, yeah, I can definitely recommend them. I was never disappointed with either the the, the contents of the box or, or the service that I got. Um, and I think that'd be a lovely way to get somebody into a new hobby or if, if it's someone who's, yeah, like I keep saying, someone like me who's already got a room full of stuff, it's always still nice to get a little package of goodies in a post every month. So a brilliant idea for a gift at any time of the year, actually. But anyway, I'll stop waffling now and um, I will be back tomorrow with the next box. What am I going to do next? Mm. Maybe we'll do an arty one next or we'll do scroller box, shall we? OK, I'll see you tomorrow. For the next thrilling instalment. <laughs> Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you again tomorrow.